Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Megneus and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are currently about to land on Duna, hopefully, assuming that everything works out at least moderately well. Um, last episode we came to Duna with Karmos, and well we actually went into orbit of Kerbin, and then I came to Duna off camera because it took about three hours. It took twice as much Delta V as it should have. It was a terrible, terrible experience trying to use all of those boosters that were underneath here. I, I ended up coming here with three full tanks and I guess half of our last two tanks here on the sides. I don't know, it's a decent amount of fuel. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get us back to Kerbin, but I'm pretty sure that we can land on Duna at this point. We're coming in for an equatorial orbit or an equatorial trajectory because this is this is not going to end with us getting out of the atmosphere. Uh, this is point two three. It's the new update on Kerbal Space Program. We have tweakables like our our parachutes and stuff like that. I uh, I currently do not have. Uh, we're gonna keep the minimum pressure at point oh one because this is doing it and it has very low air pressure. But I'm not exactly sure how to use all of these these parachutes and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy that chute and deploy the chute as well and deploy the chute and we're just we're just gonna see if this ends up working i have no idea what i'm doing with the uh the tweakables the tweakables are strange and foreign to me i haven't tried out the rapier engine yet i haven't tried out any of the new science stuff so i'm sort of worried about the science for this mission as well because i wasn't planning for there we go switching over i wasn't planning for these things to uh Let's go ahead and put out our landing gear. Yeah, I wasn't really planning to uh, do any sort of science on Duna after the update, but hey, it looks like we're going to have to now. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about Karmos, to be, to be completely honest. I, the reason that we started this episode directly above Duna is because I tried numerous times to land on Duna before. And none of it really worked out very well, so I'm a little bit worried about that, to be honest. And if we can just hold... Just hold her steady just a little bit while that depletes. If we can slow ourselves down enough to where our parachutes do not tear us apart as we enter the atmosphere, that would be marvelous. There we go, there are our parachutes, they've gone out to uh, at least their partially deployed status. And hopefully we can slow ourselves down enough by the time they deploy all the way to where we don't freaking die a terrible, terrible, horrible death. I'm not exactly sure when this is going to happen with the air pressure. Using up all of our fuel. I would appreciate it if the parachutes would open. There we go. And they did open at different times, in fact. Which seems to mean that my altitude changes on them did actually do something. But then again, the minimum pressure is probably what happened. Because the altitude is at ridiculous things like 3050. We are not yet at 3050, so why did they open? I don't know, I don't understand. I have no idea how these things work. Oh, and we should we should turn that off so that we can we can control our rocket if we need to. Carmos, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you let you fall. You know, normally you're going to be fine. I have no doubt about that. I really wish that I had kept my additional set of boosters, because they would have more parachutes. Could probably slow us down quite a bit more than we've already slowed down. And they would provide us with two additional landing legs. I'm a little bit worried landing like this actually. As long as it's moderately flat, it should be okay. We can see plenty of rocks around. Because I turned up the terrain scatter to 100%. Look at all of those beautiful rocks on the surface of Duna. Which, speaking of our equatorial traje uh, trajectory, 
There was recently by the Mars orbiter some evidence found that perhaps around the equator of Mars there is liquid water actually running on Mars. Which would be totally awesome if that's true because we have tons of evidence for past water but not a whole lot for current water. And given Mars's atmospheric pressure and temperatures, basically around the equator you could find liquid water maybe during the summer because it gets to be about 20 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, but the atmospheric pressure is too low so it becomes water vapor immediately. So maybe if there are some places with high atmospheric pressure, let's see if we can get this down to like 7-ish. Yeah, that's fine. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. Slowly. Slowly. My goodness we have successfully landed on Duna I don't know if we can get off Duna mind you but we have successfully landed here let's quick save this right now <laughs> oh my gosh Whew. and I really wish I had an antenna really wish I had brought an antenna Okay, first of all, we need to turn off our SAS. All right. I would like to do a crew report. Crew report from Duna. It's not very interesting. Keep the data. It's all sorts of science changes, but I don't know what it all means. Observe the mystery goo. We already got all of this science, so why did I bring these? Log the seismic data. We already have that as well, so it doesn't matter. Where are the other instruments? Here we go. Turn on the barometer. We also have this as well. Apparently none of this matters at all. Alright, so what we what we want then is none of this. Shouldn't have brought any of that whatsoever. We want to get our little Carmel Skirman. Get him out, and we need to reset all of our parachutes first of all, because we're going to be using those when we get back to Kerbin. And I don't think we're going to be needing these, but let's go ahead and put them back on anyway, just in case we need to land back here on Duna. Alright, and now we need... Uh... We need to let go. Use our jetpack. Ugh. Slowly, slowly, don't die, don't die. Wah! Oh, wonderful. Carmos Kerman. On Duna. Alright, so plant our flag first of all. Because we need our flag. Ker yeah, the Kerbal Space Program, there we go. Hmm, Duna first landing. And Carlos, Carmos, German was here. Carmos's first Duna landing. All right, there we go. Finish that. Let's come over here. Take a surface sample. Ooh, two hundred and forty science. Keep the data and EVA report. Sixty-four science. Not bad. Alright, so this is a very short episode today because I didn't want to show you all of the times we crashed and died terrible, terrible deaths coming on to Duna, but we did succeed this time. So hopefully in the coming episodes we will be able to get back home. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure about that, but we will try. I have no idea how much fuel we have left. I think, I think we may have enough. Maybe. Oh well, anyway, thank you so much everyone for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.